it's time we actually get a last encounter for this series. Victory Road. Let's do it. Final encounter. What is it? Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ruby version, Randomizer Nuzlocke, episode 14. If you guys have seen the previous episode, which you guys should, because there's a lot of things that happened in the previous episode. We beat Maxi, we captured two legendary Pokemon, which is something I never expected, and we beat Wallace, and we got ourselves our a Gym badge. And now we could officially go to Evergrande City to go to Victory Road in order for us to go and take on the Elite Four. But before we do that, I want to say this. I want to go and get some more encounters before we actually go and take on Victory Road because this is going to be essentially our last like few encounters before we basically take on the Elite Four. So hopefully you guys are gonna be looking forward to that and hopefully we do actually get some good encounters for the last bits of this series. And if you guys do like the video, like the video down below. It shows your support to the channel and it doesn't cost you guys anything. If you're playing new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell for notification when new videos come up. And also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also my schedule when new videos are gonna be coming up are all going to be linked in the description below for you guys to go check out. My team is exactly the same like in the previous episode. I decided to draw up Zeus the Zapdos, which is one of the Pokemon I got from the previous episode, simply because of the fact that I'm getting near Pokemon with Fly. Yes, I have Flutters the Beautifly, but now that I officially have a Pokemon that can learn Fly, I decided, you know what, I'm going to teach a Fly, and now I think we officially have a flyer on our team, but it's only temporarily because I don't know if I am going to be using Zapdos. But we do have a Zapdos in the box, or, or now currently in our party for the time being, just in case we essentially do need a Zapdos or an electric type. So that's actually a pretty good thing right here. But now with all the introductions out of the way, I want to make this incredibly short because... Action speaks louder than words, because now we're going to get right into this series, or in this episode. And we're going to get on our bike, and also I want to point this out, but I also bought some more Hyper Potions, I bought some more Full Heals, I bought more Max of Health, and I bought more Ultra Balls and Timer Balls. Now, we can continue on, come down here, and also, I need to beat up some of these trainers. I already got my encounter about 127, so we're not going to be getting our encounter here. The one we did encounter was a Magby, so we're not going to be getting any here. So, we're going to have to beat up some of these trainers. So, we're starting off with down about 128, new encounter. First encounter here, what are we gonna get? It's gonna be a that species. We already have a Stormy, so we're gonna allow to get something else. So, what's gonna be our new encounter for this area? Come on, be something good, be something good, be good, be good. At least be something good. Need a good Pokemon right here. Come on. Come on. Let's see what we get. Come on, be something good, be something good. Oh. I mean... Hey. I mean, Dust Cops isn't like the worst thing in the world, so... I could take that. Honestly, I'll take a Dust Cops. So it's pretty slow, but it is a ghost type Pokemon, so... That's actually some pretty good diversity right here. So, can we catch an Ultra Ball? Go! One Ultra Ball! One! Two! Three! There we go! Got the Dust Skull! Okay, so we got ourselves a Dust Skull, which is pretty nice to say the least. I'm gonna nickname it Tombstone! And now, we could come over here, and what could we have gotten? 
We could have gotten a Hound Doom. Okay, to be fair, we already have like plenty of fire types at this point, so I don't think it's really necessary. But we're gonna come over down here and let's take you on. There's no stronger trainer than I. Oh yeah, and there's another counter I need to get. Actually, uh, but I'm gonna beat this trainer first. Got the gold duck. You don't have any water type attacking move. I know you don't have any water type attacking move. So we're just gonna go for flamethrower. That did nothing. You have the sable though. We're gonna flamethrower again. This is gonna be a three shot here. Of course. Okay, no mind. I think this is gonna be a four shot. Unless I confuse. I was going to say, I, unless I was going to quick attack. But instead, we end up going for the Well, you hurt yourself in your confusion. Alright, break. Ugly. That actually kind of blows. So, hyper potion. Oh, that was a quick. Okay. I'll take that. Okay, now we quick attack. Okay, that did like a similar amount of damage than Flamethrower. Confusion, yeah. We're gonna just go for a quick attack again, and this will take Goldak out. Okay, so what's your next Pokemon? Let's see. At least be something easy. Shininja. You know what? Here we will with. Will with. Save our flamethrower PP. Confused way. Okay, that really blows. But, then just taken care of. So, yeah. And, over 600 experience. What's next? You got Venomoth. Okay. Don't hurt yourself in your confusion. Don't hurt yourself. Don't, don't. Okay, good. Alright, I think this will one-shot the Venomoth. If this doesn't one-shot, I would be shocked. There we go, Venomoth is taken care of, and this is it for this cool trainer right here. Oh, designer can be can be $1,264 Poké Dollars. Yeah, I also gave Bach the Emma coin, so we get double the money. But here's something else I need to go. I think we're gonna get our... I think this is gonna be a new route, and... This area right here, hold on, I actually want to see if this is the area. First things first, come over, this is about 124, moss deep, and come over here, uh, and go up, about 125, okay. New encounter, what's this gonna be? Alright, be something good, come on, be something good, come on, be good, be good, be good, be good. Come on, we need a lucky encounter here. Come on, let's see. That's a little. This was actually our daughter Pokemon that we would have had chosen. <laughs> so, Lunatone. Okay, you know what? what? We'll try and capture this. Alright, Confuse Way. Okay, so we're gonna get some damage off on this thing, but status. Okay, hurt yourself. Nope. Okay, I think we could start chucking some Ultra Balls at it. So, let's start. So, Ultra Ball first, let's go. So, can we get it? Come on, can we get Lunatone? Let's see. Come on, there we go. We got Lunatone. Yeah, this was like our main starter Pokemon from our rival, so now we have a Lunatone. Hey, that's actually something. I'm gonna nickname it Luna. But yeah, Lunatone isn't really the best Pokemon, but hey, you know what? I'll take that. What could we have gotten? Octillery. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'll take the Lunatone for what we have. So, I'm actually gonna face this trainer right here. Gain some more experience. So, let's go. Fade over here. So, what Pokemon do you have? 
Ignition Zoe, who have a centric. Okay, easy money. This is basically money right here. So flamethrower should definitely one shot. And yeah, easy. Okay. Yo. Know, you know, the thing is about easy sad, yeah, it's basically an easy Pokemon, but at the same time though, I don't always just being like, oh my god, you're so easy, you're weak. I'm like I mean against like some some person in regards to batting batting skills, I'm like, I don't mostly like to be like, oh god, you're weak. Because to be fair, I don't believe that, but at the same time though, it's like, yeah, when you have not very good strong Pokemon, it's like, yeah, you're not gonna really accomplish much. But hey, if you're doing it for fun, then you're doing it for fun. Because there are people who just want to do it to have fun, and that's perfectly great, and I do it to have fun as well. I like trolling people. I think the thing I actually really like, I really like trolling people. So I think that's actually really fun. And yeah, I know I am a bit of a dick. I am not. I'm not gonna lie. I am a bit of a dick. You have a Lugia. Okay, now things are getting serious here. Okay, I don't think you have Hydro Pump at this level. Do Ben. I'm legit by myself in the park. Yeah, you have Warwind. Okay, Beauty comes on out. Okay, we're gonna stop here. See how much damage that's gonna do. You're gonna safeguard. Alrighty. Take you out with one more stuff. And Lugia's taking care of. But yeah. Yeah, what am I saying? Oh yeah, I am a bit of a dick in regards to being a troll. Because I like trolling people. With like, uh, you like trolling. I'm like, I'm mostly just troll for fun. I'm not like a total dick in your life. But hey. We get to know each other, then we can actually beat the buzz. You know what? Oh, I forgot about safeguard. But yeah, if we get to know each other and talk to each other, then it might be really good buzz. I'm not gonna consider you a friend unless you basically, unless we are kind of mostly friends. But if we get to know each other even better, then I think we could basically get along. That is, if we get along. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna stuff. This is gonna be giving on the red here. But hey, you know, I'm not do I'm not a mean, like horrible person. I'm not like a dick to everybody. I just mostly like trolling people, but I'm not like a dick in real life. Like I'm like, oh my god, you're a horrible person. I like, no, I'm not that kind of person, but yeah, we're about to learn a track, which Nah. Honestly, I think Lovely Kiss is just better. Even though, yeah, Lovely Kiss has the bad accuracy, but I think Lovely Kiss is better. But yeah, I'm just, I just mostly like trolling people just for fun. That's mostly like how I do it. Anyway, Lunar Tone again, which we already captured you, so that's basically unnecessary. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna take fun now. So. Let's see what you have. We have a Rachel. You have a Zumo. Okay, you definitely have a water time move because we had a Zumo. So we're gonna switch by into Geico. And I think Flea Play could definitely dig this Zumo in. Yeah, water gun. Yeah, that's in too much. Flea Play. Yeah, I think this would take you out. Yeah. Wait, hold on, I forgot. Did I have water absorb on, like, on Ninetales? Hold on, I'm actually gonna go check because I completely forgot about the nature. I know Geico flash fire, but no, it's water veil. It prevents burn. Okay. Yeah, that's not very good. I mean, Geico's ability <laughs> makes us immune to fire attack, which is great. Yeah, Blastoise is taken care of, and there we go. That's it. Well, this swimmer right here. Swimmer away, troll. I beg for peace. Anyways, we're gonna come up here. Come over here. 
come out down over here. Um, oh, yeah. Come over down here. And, so, I thought we would actually would make it to, like, another area where we could actually, you know, you know what I'm talking about, where we could get, like, a snow one to a steel, but, eh. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna go and try and find it. I'm actually gonna spray up a repel, or a repel first thing first, and I think we're gonna try again. Like, the, um, over, I think we can, um, right through here, I think, go up, come around to here, nothing over here, if we go up, come here, um, okay, nothing over here, if we, um, right over here, come right up here, oh, okay, here it is, here it is, it's okay, Alright, first encounter. We're using the old rod. Righty. Let's see what we can get. First encounter, what's it gonna be? Oh, come on. Well, I guess our encounter is a Pidgey. A Pidgey, guys. A Pidgey is our encounter for this area. But, here we go. Got ourselves a Pidgey. Yes. That is nothing too special to write home about. I saw a nickname it Bird Girl. But now I think it's time we head over back to the route we were previously. So, I'll meet you guys there once we get back to, I think, Route 128. And also, I'm going to be up these trainers off screen, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, coming back over here to Route 128, I also want to show this off. But Geico leveled up to 43, and Foxy leveled up to 41. But now, after dealing with those trainers, I think we can come over here. And I think we could talk to... Hold on, actually, hold on, I'm curious. Can we actually fly to... No. No, we couldn't. We're going to take you on now. We've been working so hard to mount the Pokemon League Challenge, we can't afford to lose now. Okay, so, let's see what you have. Name is Designer Lawrence. You have a Ledian. Okay. We're gonna go for Flamethrower Kia. This will definitely one-shot you. And, yep, Ledian is taken care of. And, getting over 1,000 experience. What's up next? You have a muck. Okay. Flamethrower, I think this would two shot you. I'm gonna call it. No, it's a three shot. Oh. Wow. That ain't good. That, that ain't good. That ain't good. Okay, you know what? Riddle it. Burn you. There. Now your physical attack is cut down, and I know such is physical in this game. So now with your I cut in half, we're gonna flamethrower again. This should actually take you out now. If not, then the burn would have taken you out. And that's it for designer Lawrence. Oh, how could this happen? Okay, we're gonna stuff again. I think we can come over to here, come right over here. See if there's any more chance. Take you on now. It's a grueling race that consists of three events. And I'm also going to have to go back and get my diver because we're going to have to get a new encounter underwater. But I could do that once after we fly to Zootopolis to deal with that. But it's after we get all these encounters when we do that. Because I think this episode is relatively going to be a... I guess to say more of a filler episode because we're just basically beating haters and getting encounters. Route 129, new encounter. Okay. Haven't got no encounter for this route, so I'm gonna try and wealth or pal, and here we go. New encounter, what's it gonna be? Let's see what we can get. That's species. 
We already have a slacking. So now we can get a new encounter. So let's see what we can get. But 129. What's it gonna be? Come on, at least be something good. Oh! Oh, um, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This thing has woven, this thing has woven, this thing has woven, this thing has woven. It has woven, it has woven, it has woven, it has woven. Well, we're bad account. <laughs> well, so much for that one. So, that one was a plus. Oh my god, that was just a total bust. Like, that was a Lugia, but I was like, we're not going to capture that. It has no win. We're definitely not going to capture that. And it was like, yeah. It basically didn't end very well. But, eh. <laughs> we had a ho encounter, and then we had a Lugia encounter. But, yeah, that didn't even take us that long. But, hey. Eh, so much for that one. Okay, I mean, alright, that's fine. I mean, we do have two legendaries as is, so at least that's still good. I know I'm speaking over this trainer battle, but to be fair, nothing much has really been going on. But yeah, we could have had Lugia, but I'm not really that upset compared to the ho thing because I knew what was going to happen, so it didn't really matter at that point, but yeah, that does suck, but it's alright, it is what it is, but yeah, I think we could burn the Hypno, oh, okay, Hypnosis missed, alright, see ya Hypno, you ain't gonna live that fun, but yeah, I guess you could say we're making some pretty good progress for sure, also, question of the day, which we haven't even Say the question of the day yet. So, uh, question of the day. I need to think of it. I've already thought of the question of the day for this episode. So, uh, question of the day. What's your fa- have I asked what's your favorite victory world from a each generation? If not, then what's your favorite victory world? Like, which one do you like most? Like, do you like Kanto's victory world? Do you like Johto's victory world? Or Kanto? Do you like Owen, Sinnoh, the universe? Like, what's your favorite victory world from a generation? For me, personally, I actually like the... I will say the Johto one because it's not as annoying. Is it the Johto one or the Unova? I want to say the Unova one because the problem is with Hoenn and Sinnoh is that we have to use a lot of HMs, especially Sinnoh, which is something I really don't like to use, which is why we have to use the barrels on our teams. Because of that fact, to take up a spot. Hoenn is also going to be the exact same thing. So, Unova. I like Unova because it doesn't have to have me use a lot of HMs. So it's either Unova, and I, I probably would say Unova. I mean, Johto doesn't have a lot of trainers. I mean, yeah, the trainers, when you get to Victory World, is basically kind of like a Victory World, but not really. It's not really a Victory World. But a, hey, no. That's basically what I think of it. So for me, Percy, it's Unova. So what's gonna be our final one? Unknown. I think we could definitely deal with that. One more flamethrower. This this will take you out. And unknown is taken care of. And there we go. Swimmer Tristan has been defeated. Beat. I'm beaten. That's it. Done. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know what, I'll withdraw back up the Emma coin, I'll put Geico up in the forefront, I'll put right over here, I'll give Geico the Emma coin, wait to gain some more 
experience and also some money. So come over here. I'm gonna take fun now. Let's a hurry. Let's take it slow and easy. Nah, actually, I'm gonna beat you right here now, unless you want like a salt. Ava. Okay, you don't have any poison type moves. I know that. You have drizzle. That's gonna be. Okay, be play. How much is it gonna do? Okay, that did a pretty good number. I can lie, that did a pretty good number. You have switch. Yeah, I will say I am at least somewhat familiar with some of these Gen 3 Pokemon of what moves they have and even without looking it up. Because I am familiar that Arbok doesn't have any poison type moves. So that's actually a pretty good benefit, so now we didn't have to worry about it. Centrist. Okay, Centrist's gonna be eat funny. We can just go for play. That's definitely gonna be a one shot. If it somehow actually lives with, I would actually be shocked. Which it didn't. So next up, Bulbasaur. Yeah, I think Blaze Kick can do it. I know it's in the lane. Blaze Kick's gonna be skin. But honestly, I think it could one-shot the Bulbasaur, because it is just a Bulbasaur. Yeah. So, Geico coming in clutch. Technician the Well has been defeated. Oh my, I want you to relax a little more. And you only gave me 500 Poké Dollars? It is, and that's with the Amber coin. Dude, you gave me pretty low money. Anyways, I'm gonna come over here. Take you on. This is my first triumphal on. I'm all tense and nervous. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, this guy's standing on water. Champion Kate. This guy is literally standing on water himself. Base kick should definitely one shot. Alright, let's see what's the other Pokemon. Lavatar. Yep. Clean one shot. This is a clean one shot. This is basically a sweet one shot that Lavatar just ain't gonna live. If Lavatar did live, this would take it out, but it would be surprising, but this would take out millions of Lavatars. Okay, so come over here and the new out. What went dirty? New encounter. Let's do it. I'm gonna wear off this repel first. And come on. Alright, we're power off. Let's get on counter. Come on. Be something good. Be something good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. Be good. I said to be good, not be garbage. I mean, so far, our Pokemon that we currently have is looking pretty nice, so I shouldn't be complaining that we are encountering not, like, the best Pokemon in the world. But still, we're at, like, the final stages of getting our encounters, and this is what's basically being thrown at us right now. So, that's very unfortunate, to say the least. I would love to get, like, a Salamence at this point, or Dragonite. Would it be pretty nice? I was at nickname it Rainbow. But now, we're taking you on. In the deep blue sea, my shattered blue heart finds comfort among waves. Okay, let's see what you got. So, Technician Pie, you have survived. Okay, you definitely have a poison type move. I know that for a fact you have a poison type move. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Monkey 492. Because I know you have Poison Tail. You're using Crunch. Flash. This would one shot. This is basically an easy shot. Because Monkey 492 is actually pretty nuts right now. It's actually nuts right now. If we're going to be honest with you guys. It's basically our strongest Pokemon on our team. Okay, he's gained 550 experience and gold duck. Flash once again. This should take you out. Yep. Yeah, Monkey 492 is 
is she like uh i guess you could say uh gonna be our huge mvp here but anyways i think i actually know i didn't play up a max appell i'll do that and i'm over here uh um up here see if we can haunt that new nope, no nope. Right, I actually want to see. Right, I'm gonna face you now. Let's do it. What a surprise! I didn't expect to see a trainer on the sea. I think we should battle. Duh! Let's battle. Let's see what you have. Let's see what Pokemon you have. You got a seal. Okay. This is basically easy one shot here with Leaf Blade. So, seal is taken care of. And let's see what's going to be our next Pokemon. Hopefully it's actually something that will give me some pretty good experience. Let's see. Flareon. Okay. Honestly, this is fine because we do have Flash Fire. So, we don't have to worry about its fire type attacks. So, I think Flareon would relatively be funny right here. Just hitting me up with these quick attacks and bites. And so on, so forth. Take you out. There we go. Flareon's down. And I think this will level up to 44. Yep, it does. Okay, Swimmer Mia has been defeated. This kid's awfully tough. I mean, you're a kid yourself. So, what you, so what you talking about? Anyways, what? 131. New encounter. Repel off. Let's do it. Okay, repel off. Let's go. New encounter. What's it gonna be? Come on, be good, be good. You it's a teddy your star. Eh. Put you to see. Of course you miss. Of course you miss. Of course you miss. I mean, we already have a normal type of stocking, but at least Earth Swing might be a good backup. So at least I would be solid. But Ultra Ball. Do it. Can we catch it? One. Go. Oh, God. Dude, don't tell me that this thing is legit going to be hard to capture. Don't tell me this thing is going to be legit hard to capture. Two. Three. There we go. I don't know why it both we one shot there because it's just a Teddy Your stuff, but hey, you know what? We caught it, so that's cool. I'm gonna nickname it Bouncing. Because honestly, I think that would be a funny name to nickname it. Alright, spray back up on Max Appel. Let's do it. Come. Take you on. But wait, why do men love baby suits so much? They all oogle me. Alright, Technician Crystal. Let's see what you have. Partly wow. Leaf Blade, one shot. I think it's supposed to be pronounced like Argo instead of Ugo, but. But I always just pronounce it like Ugo, like Ugo, Ugo, Ugo. But I think it's Argo. I'm out of my deck. Anyways, what do you have to say? Maybe it's not my baby suit that makes men look. It must be my beauty. The sea, the sea, the sea. The sea is all for us, so I can see. I'm sick and tired of the sea. And why are you see? Felix, Adi. Blade kick. One shot. There we go. That's a clean one shot right there. See what's up next. What do you have? Fly horn. Okay, we'll leave played you, and this should definitely take you out. This will take out millions of white horns. Like, millions of white horns actually had fallen to a we'll leaf blade. And anyway, swim away and it's been defeated. There! Okay, so this trainer right here, let's go. Hi, sweetie. Wait, we should battle, you and I. Okay. So, what's your name? Technician Kate. You have a ho -oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a flying time move. Okay. 
good. Which is the beauty. I was like, you have gas. I'm pretty sure you carry gas. You have safeguard. Great stuff. This should. I think it will be two shot because. No, it's a one shot. Okay. What? I'll take that. I'll take that one shot. I'll take it and I'll run with that. Parasect. I'm gonna put it to sleep first. Oh! I forgot! I forgot! Oh, you have bleach five. So, hold on. I got a brilliant idea. Switch in the box. I still have some flamethrowers left over. So, I think I could deal with it with Fox here. You got- you have stunts for. You have stunts for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna- I have paralyzed here. I have new- Actually, I have like eight. So I think we could actually deal with these paralyzed heroes. You only have leech life as your only attacking. Leech life is doing nothing. This ain't Gen 6. I think it's Gen 6 or Gen 7. I think it's, it's either one of those two gens. But in those two gens is when leech life became like I think an 80 accuracy move. And it became so much better, but this is Gen 3 Leech Life. So, honestly, because it's Gen 3 Leech Life, it's not very good. Why, Horn? Okay. Back in the gun. Oh. Back. Oh, you know what that means. I was like, you know what that means. Alright, two damage, two damage, three damage, two damage, the critical hit. Okay. I'll flamethrow you. I think this will take you out. I think. Yeah. I know I was being a little bit concerned here, but White Horns do carry one class. We love the 43. Okay, thanks for the level up. Anyways, we're gonna put... Actually, I think we still have... Yeah, we still have Geico up in the front here. Let's come over here. I'm gonna take you on now. Come on. Uh, come on. Okay, come up here. There you go. See, is teaming with Pokemon. It's not easy swimming, I tell you. Okay, we're like 41 minutes in. I want to actually make it to... Of a grande city and victory world so that in the next episode we could be able to take it on so if i'm still actually gonna face all these trainers right here i might i might do some off screen but hey you know what we actually it makes up i won't say we made a lot of good progress because this is more like a preemptive i guess say this is like a preparation for the victory world Alright, I'm gonna skip these trainers, and I think we made it here to Pacific Log. Here we are. Okay. We got our first encounter here. Let's do it. Let's see what we can get. Nothing. Try it again. Come on, at least something good. Be something good. Be nothing. Okay, we'll try it again. If we can get something. Nope, nothing. Come on, can we get something? Come on. Come on, can we get something with this? Yes! There we go. Encounter for Pacific Log. What's it? Oh, crap. We're not catching this thing anytime soon. It has to be a level 5 red ice. Okay. I doubt we're ever gonna catch this. But you know what? You know what? We're gonna try it anyways. We're gonna try to catch it anyways. Alright. Nope. If it wakes up, then it's basically dead because it has explosion. So, 
Let's do it. Nope. We're gonna try it anyway. <laughs> oh my god. I doubt we're gonna catch it, but... This would actually be funny if we actually literally do catch it. But... That would just be funny, to say the least. One! Oh, we did get at least one wiggle! Alright, bye, Red Eyes! See ya! Hasta vista! Bye! Yep, so much for that encounter. Okay. Do we actually get a new encounter here? Stuff over. Route 132. I think this is a new wow. But I actually want to go and check see if this is a new wow. So is it Route 131 and Route 132? Okay, I'm gonna walk to a power first, and okay, we're power off. Let's get on counter right here. Come on, something good. Be good. Be good. Be a good encounter. Be a good encounter. Come on. Be good. Be good. It's a Kangaskhan. Okay, you know what? I'll take that. It's not Mega Kangaskhan, but you know what? I'll take that. At least that's a, it's a solid Pokemon. At least. So at least that's actually something. So, Ultra Ball. Let's go. One. So, Still fast asleep. Alright, we're gonna Ultra Ball again. Do it, come on. Stay in the ball. Two, three. There we go. Our Kangaskhan. So, yeah. I mean, Kangaskhan's at least a solid Pokemon to see. So, at least that's good. I decided to nickname it Kansas. But now, I think it's time we actually do. Fly over to Utopolis here. Because now I'm going to get my diver for a for, for sack, so I will do that. Alrighty, so. Haven't gotten on counter in Utopolis yet. So. Let's get our first encounter here. So, let's see what we can get. Come on, be something good, be something good. Pocket all. Okay, that's species. We already have a totodile. So, uh, we basically could get a new encounter. So, what's it gonna be? Come on. Be something good. Be something good. Be a good Pokemon. I'll take a Salamence. I'll legit take a Salamence. I'll take, like, a really good encounter. Dragonite. Tyranitar. I could take all those. At least be a good Pokemon, at least. So, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Can we get something good? Come on. Be good. Be good. Be good. I mean, we have Beautify. I mean, does this count for... Species. Oh, I'm gonna look this up for a quick sec. Okay, so Cascoon is basically an entirely different evolution line. So, we're still being both of one folks. So, because of that, this is basically our encounter. So, we have Beautify and Dark Talk. We have the two ungodly bad bug types. Like, like we have the garbage on our team. Actually, at least in the box, we have garbage in the box now. I'm going to nickname it Patches. But yeah, we have legit garbage in our box right now. With a Beautify and a Cascoon. But now we can get our encounter underwater. So, 
fuck can we get? Gee, you know what? We could have had something like a Kyogre. We could have had like a Kyogre of some sort. And that would have been like amazing. Because the Gen 3 Kyogre is just amazing. But instead, we got this. So... Alright. Okay, Hooters, you're going to my box. You're basically not going to serve any sort of purpose whatsoever. And what could we have gotten? Still a cool hoop, but... Hey, you know what? You know what? If this would have been a Kyogre, I would have quit away. But... Red Star. Yeah. Okay, I think it's time we officially go back to Moss Peak to try to make it to Evergrande. So, I think it's time we go do that right now. Okay, so... Surf all the way down. Surf down. Come back to our 127. We did make it to Evergrande before. The last episode. But now I think it's time we go there officially. Circle around here. Okay, that's the wrong way. So if I remember correctly on how to make it there. Come over down here. Our 128. Okay, this is where we're at. I think this is where we're supposed to go. I'm over here, stuff right over here. Then circle around right here with power off. I'm just gonna play it back up. So come over. Well, now we get to deal with this thing. Evergrande say is still a long ways away. Eh. So, Champion Christine, what do you have? You have a seal. Okay. Yeah, I think we could just be in a relatively easily. I think they could definitely just. Yeah, clean one shot to this deal. And that's that. That's it for this triathlon trainer. So, 771 experience. My first victory seems to be far away. Yeah, I kind of mostly. But, come over here. And, I think this might be it. Yep! Evergrande City. We're gonna surf right up. Waterfall, and here we go. First things first, I'm going to see if this is a new victory world. Okay. So we can get two more encounters. These are, I think, are going to be our last encounters. Actually, I haven't gotten the fossil from the, I forgot the guy. The fossil in Crespo. I haven't actually got that static encounter. You know what, let's go do that right now before we get our last two encounters. I think that's a lot more special than... I think these last two encounters can be more special. So, let's go to Watch Pro. Okay, if we come in do this building right here... And we go all the way up... We talk to this guy. Trying to develop a device that works like Pokemon from Fossil. And it, it's working. Wait, so I think you have this. I have Pokemon Fossil, would you like that to bring you to life? Yep. Here's right away. Hand of Wood Fossil. Then we walk all the way out. I'm back in. And here we go. Waiting. Let's see what is it. Snow Hunt. Okay. Wanna get to Snow Hunt? Yep. I'm gonna nickname it Headbutt. But yeah, Glalie isn't that great of a Pokemon. But it is an Ice type. And we have very little of that. But ice types aren't like the best thing. But hey, you know what? The next encounter, the, we're not going to think of the claw fossil because let's be honest here. I don't think we want to talk about the claw fossil. But yeah, I'm going to deposit it back into the box. And now we can get our encounters for these, the last two encounters for this series. Alrighty. So right here in Evergrande, Rappel did well off. Last two encounters. Let's see what is it going to be. It's a cloister. Okay. Gonna put it to sleep. And then we could start sucking some Ultra Balls at it. 
So, let's do it. Ultra Ball. Let's go. Can this stay it? One. Nope. Alrighty. That's a little unfortunate. But anyway. Could it stay it? Nope. Nope, not even a wiggle, not even a waggle. Come on, stay in the ball. One, two, three. There we go. Okay, we got Cloyster. It's not the best Pokemon. Its special defense is pretty terrible, but it was actually competitive in Gen 1, so hey, that's something. But this ain't Gen 1, though. But can you imagine if we had a Cloyster in Gen 1? That would have been something. I'm gonna nickname it Shell Shock. But now, it's time we actually get a last encounter for this series. Victory Road. Let's do it. Final encounter. What is it? Oh. Wow. Our last encounter is a Suicune. You know what? We're trying to catch it. It's going to be a slow weakening, but we're going to try and catch it. Can you imagine if we actually captured a Suicune? Like, can you imagine if that were to happen? Alright, Pursuit. Ooh, okay. How many Ultra Balls do I have? You're using Leah. I think I have about... Hold on, let's see how many Ultra Balls do I have. Before we continue to press on any further. Yeah, 16 Ultra Balls, 16 Timer Balls. Let's go. This is our last encounter for this series. Let's do everything we can to try to capture it. One. Yeah, this is going to be extremely hard to capture. So I'm going to speed this up to see if we actually can capture this Suicune. Oh. This thing legit has Shadow Tag. Meaning we're stuck with Gus. Wow, this ain't good. This this really ain't gonna be looking good. <laughs> that kid. Ultra Ball! Second Ultra Ball! We caught Suiku! Dude! That is a great way to end this series. Or at least our encounters for this series. This is a great way to actually do that. We captured ourselves a Suiku. And we're going to be nicknaming it. We're going to nickname it. Final. Come on, final. Rocky. Okay, that was such a great way to actually end off the encounters for this series. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up with today's episode. I'm actually am going to do some training off screen. Train everybody up to a good level for us to go and take on Victory Road. So, hopefully that actually does end pretty well for us. Hopefully. But yeah. 
If you guys do like the video, like the video down below and all that. Answer the question today down below as well. Victory Road is upon us right now. And that is gonna be pretty huge. Because this is where we're gonna reach our final, I would say, two episodes of this series. I think we're only two episodes away for actually finishing this series. So, the long, like, eight, six, seven months, how long it's been, is gonna be finished around here. So, I'll see you guys then for the next episode, which is gonna be a pretty, hopefully, a lot of huge climaxes. So, I'll see you guys then.